District 6 was the sixth suburb of Cape Town. And for some reason, it was the only suburb that retained its number forever. We had all sorts of people in the 60s. Colored, African, Muslim, Christian, Jewish, Chinese, all living together. The 60s was never about your color. It was never about your religion. We were called, say, your dad was my dad, her mom was your mom. One family. Like Mr. Mandela said, Ubuntu, caring and sharing. In the 1950s, the uh, Population Registration Act was passed, which meant that in District 6, where you had white people, brown people, black people, they all had to be classified into particular groups. You know, I'll never forget, I was about 32 years old, February 11th, 1966, on our way to work that morning. And when we came into the city center, we saw the headlines in our newspapers big. District 6 declared a whites only area. The Group Areas Act was passed, but it took till about 1965 for the real dislocation to take place. So what happened is that these dispossessed colored people were moved onto the Cape Flats. You know, that's the whole area stretching from Cape Town to Somerset West. You can imagine six, 60, plus minus 66,000 people that were removed from the area alone. You can imagine what that entailed. Your family life was broken up, your community life, your sporting life, your church life, your anything. Religious was broken up. In 1970, the government sent in the first bulldozer. Then they started demolishing all our homes. In fact, it took them 11 years to do that. Gradually, street by street. You know, many people died of, of broken hearts. My father was also in his early 60s when he had to leave his home in 1974. I still remember how my father cried. He didn't want to go because this was his home. Since 1994, there was a decision. Well, there was firstly an act passed of Parliament called the Land Restitution Act. And that meant that people who lost their land through apartheid and forced removals could apply to get their land back if it was still available or to get compensation. But because of the intricacies of District 6, it took more than 20 years to sort that out. 20 years down democracy, sorry. You find some people still firmly believing this is my area, that is your area, you don't belong here, I don't belong over there. And that's due to the intense brainwashing that was done from grandparents to parents and then, to, of course, to the children. So this becomes another problem. And it's not a problem that's going to go away overnight. It's going to take decades for that to disappear because of the intense brainwashing that was done. And that also, of course, that's the type of thing that gives rise to xenophobia, people looking at each other differently. And it just created more. In fact, I would say, um, Apartheid, ugly, it is still being reared due to the uh, brainwashing that was done. And it, it's going to take a, a real while. 